So I thought to record a video while I'm waiting for my phone to update. I've been thinking a lot about where I want to go with YouTube and what I want to put on the channel. It's very difficult to pin it down because <laughs> there's a few different topics let's say that I feel I want to speak on and for very different reasons and just thinking about what I've already uploaded like poetry, sky stuff really what I want to do is highlight people particularly addressing mental health but maybe from a more um esoteric obtuse or acute obtuse angle like how <clears throat> there's so much written these days about mental health but People need to understand as far as science goes, it's still a very new science and it's already been rewritten a lot. There's a lot to do with um, psychiatry that's now been rethought. And as a person who suffered in various ways and still does from um, symptoms of air uh, quotes what you'd call depression which is a really really um, boxed in type of description for mental health but I think as a person who also likes to think outside the box and someone who's very interested in the more woo aspects of um, the human existence and what reality is and Although in no shape or form am I anything like um, educated in those kind of matters. I just I'm fascinated by quantum physics and the things, the questions that quantum physics brings up in relation to reality. And I think all those things can't be ignored as being interconnected because everything's connected. I mean, even those who may not be so woo inclined, I think these days if you've got, you know, a fair bit of intelligence and you, you know, you take notice of what's going on around you, of other people, of psycho psychological aspects of the human race, historic aspects, how they relate, politics, on some level, everything is connected everything has a, a knock-on effect to other things um just astrology astronomy should i say or astrology if you want to go deep but there's a lot of things there's, there's a lot of things that we can equate that we can see and prove that are really weird just in everyday reality so when you look at what the extra reality of everything may be it's kind of not, it's not as weird as we think it is. It's just maybe something that we haven't been encouraged to look at. We're not encouraged to ask questions. And also, you know, back to the human aspect again, humans like patterns, it makes them feel safe. They like familiarity. But when you look at something that we call duality which is i'm big into the ethos of yin yang which is the two aspects of things and how the two halves make whole you kind of need one to verify the other like how do you know what light is unless you've got the dark to compare it contrast it against and the duality of humans is we like patterns we like things to to repeat the cell so we feel safe but at the same time we have this unquenchable thirst for knowledge i mean we didn't fall off of the edge of the earth 
when we went out and looked, even though we thought we were going to, that curiosity still made us do it. It's why we go, we're looking at outer space and things like that. There's a reason for that, and that's kind of all the things that interest me, where they all come to me at a point. The poetry is self-expression. Um, we've all got a creative element. We don't always know what it is. Um, for years, I have no interest whatsoever in things like um, uh, visual creativity, like design and things like that. Now I find it's something that's very important to me. Um, but that also goes along with what we've been um what we've been around our environment what what's um, stimulated us outside stimulants we've had opportunities anyway without getting any more deeper uh, this is more just a video so if you're a little confused by what the hell you think it is that i'm doing posting all this random stuff on the air it kind of gives you an idea it doesn't matter Either way, you might not really give a shit. That's fine by me. But for those that might be wondering what I'm doing, if I've got purpose to all this, or maybe in a few years' time, I mean, doing this video for me, it's something to look back at and, and see uh, <clears throat> if I explained myself in the correct way, if you, if you even had a clue, and where I've... Um, gone on my journey since t today's date whatever today's date is it'll be on the video anyway um other than that as a side note i think one thing that's really important to me is humor and laughter i haven't got anything funny to say right this moment which makes a change because having a gob on me and <laughs> finding things funny when maybe not other people do it's, um, it's a talent of mine. Um, difference being compared to a lot of other people is I'm very much able to laugh at myself. In fact, I think if you cannot look at yourself and find the ridiculousness in who you are, um, you're going to have trouble going forward in life and and, and finding perspective in anything. Because there's many things that I like about myself. There's many things I admire about myself. There's many things I don't admire about myself. But the ability to have perspective when looking at yourself. Basically know that your shit stinks too sometimes. Well, it matters. It matters in everything. Humour also matters. Because to me, humour and a lot of the people I know who are very funny. I'm, I'm very honoured and privileged to know a lot of very strong, funny women with the ability also to, to you know, be introspective and look at the cells. But um, along with them, I think many of them will uh, tell you that humour probably saved our lives. Having humour is something that not only gives you strength, <laughs> it motivates you it's kind of like the sunshine when your mood's dark and it's the ability to have hope laughing with never at well sometimes that but only in a mutually cons <laughs> consensual friendship or relationship anyway that's enough of my ramblings um the last thing i want to say is no matter what crap and bullshit I put on my page and now I come across there's one thing absolutely that no one on this planet can ever ever take away from me and that is it's important to me that other people are winning because I want to win because I want to be good at what I do it took me a lot of years to understand that we're not a single entity on this planet you can have everything in the world. Maybe if the Illuminati types, you know, understood that they can have anything they want, but they're still not happy. Because all we really, really need is mutual love and mutual acceptance. 
you should all bear that in mind because if you're not on the path searching for that you're not on any path at all as far as I'm concerned be the change you want to see be the light that you are love to all of you